Hello everyone, today I'm sharing about another very commonly used function for cleaning data, which is how to highlight rows when your cell value is greater or smaller than a certain value. So we're gonna try that with ChatGPT. So here is the business scenario for this case. Let's say we have an employee data set that we want to clean up for the annual compensation review. And uh, we need to filter out the people who are eligible for this compensation review. So for example, let's say our rule is that everyone who's hired in 2023 is not eligible for this review because they have been with the company for less than a year. So if that's a rule that we want to set, I'm going to say everyone whose date of hiring falls into 2023, let's highlight them and then we can decide whether we want to delete them or uh, exclude them for our compensation analysis. Now that we understand the request, let's see how ChatGPT can help us to realize this request. I have been phrasing my request as create VBA code that highlights rows where cell date is smaller than December 31st, um, actually smaller than or to December 31st, 2022 in column G. So it's as natural language as possible. Okay, now chat GPT has run. Let's copy the code and come back to our Excel developer and create code paste the code. As usual, we need to change the sheet name. And basically the code is saying, find the last row in column G, which it does for each cell uh, range G2 to G last row. So here actually uh, one note is that you do want to make sure your data actually starts from the second. So in my case, that is the case. But if let's say you have a few blank rows above this, you want to make sure that you customize your code properly to fit your actual date. And then the next code saying that, well, if the cell value is a date, in our case, it is. If it's not in yours, if it's a tax format, just make sure that you do need to convert it to a date format before you run this code. If it's the cell value is smaller or equal to the date, then we highlight to this color. I actually don't know what the color is like you can change it to any color so okay so i think the code looks fine let's try it and uh, also actually to make sure you see data so after we run the code, if everything runs smoothly, you should see those rows highlighted. Okay, let's come back to our code. And okay, so good news. It looks that it's working, but it's just showing it uh, the reverse way. So it's showing that if the date is was in 2023, then you don't highlight it. Otherwise, you highlight it. So I guess I just need to change that in my code. So to do that, uh, first let clear matting, uh, everything's good and come back to my code. So here I want anything that's greater and not equal to greater than this date, then I highlight the entire. And then actually for my color, I think red is kind of strong. So I want to change it to, yeah. Okay. So now let's say, okay, I think it's looking good. So let's look at, yeah, it seems all the rows that's 2023 actually is highlighted. Perfect. So ChatGP has been very smart and it does exactly what we want. Great. That's everything I want to share with you today. If you want to learn more about VBA setup and also coding with ChatGPT, I do have a few playlists with a link down below for you to watch more on. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.